In a world filled with connections, there exist pairs bound by a bond deeper than most, the twin flames. These are not just any ordinary pairs. They are two souls intricately intertwined that share more than a mere earthly bond. They are two halves of the same essence, linked by a connection that transcends the boundaries of the physical world and ventures into the realm of the spiritual. Their relationship is characterized by a list of unique phenomena, the first of which is an immediate, undeniable connection. It is as though two long-lost puzzle pieces have found each other again, effortlessly falling into place. Their souls recognize each other with an instant familiarity that echoes through the ages, a remembrance of past lives and shared experiences. The second characteristic of twin flame relationships is the mirror effect. This phenomenon is as fascinating as it is enlightening. Twin flames reflect each other's deepest fears, highest hopes, wildest dreams and even minute flaws with uncanny precision. This mirroring effect not meant to exacerbate their insecurities, but to bring them to the surface for healing and growth, encouraging each other towards self-improvement and personal development. The third defining trait of these relationships is the abundance of synchronicities. It's as if the universe conspires to interweave their lives with an array of uncanny coincidences. These pairs often find their paths crossing at the most unexpected times, their experiences aligning in ways that defy logic and reasoning. Fourthly, the emotional experiences in twin flame relationships are intense to say the least. The bond that links them brings about profound feelings on both ends of the emotional spectrum from the purest form of love and indescribable joy to heart-wrenching pain and omnipresent fear. The fifth hallmark of twin flames is an undeniable sense of home in each other's presence. Despite the turbulence that often marks their relationships, they provide each other with a sense of comfort and familiarity that is inexplicably comforting and fundamentally indestructible. The sixth characteristic is the cycles of separation and reunion. Like the moon and the tide, there's an and flow to their connection. There are periods of intense closeness followed by phases of distance and separation, a relentless cycle that tests their bond time and again. The final defining feature of twin flames is a shared life purpose. This connection is not just about earth shattering romance, but about fulfilling a higher purpose together. It's as if their souls have been brought together to achieve something extraordinary, to make a significant impact on the world. So, are you and your partner twin flames? The journey may be challenging, but the reward? A connection like no other? Taking a closer look at this rare bond, let's delve into the journey twin flames embark on. This is a path that is shrouded in mystery and mysticism, captivating the minds of those who yearn for a deeper understanding. It's a remarkable journey, marked with a plethora of emotions, experiences and stages, each equally critical for the twin flames' spiritual growth and their eventual union. This journey is by no means a smooth ride. Instead, it's a roller coaster of emotions, filled with ups and downs, highs and lows, joy and pain. It's a journey that is often marked by periods of intense challenge, significant transformation and profound self-discovery. This, they say, is the universe's way of preparing the twin flames for their shared destiny, for the extraordinary role they are meant to play in each other's lives. The first stage, the recognition and awakening, is a pivotal moment in the journey. When twin flames meet, the connection they feel is unparalleled. Their souls recognize each other. They feel an intense pull towards each other, akin to two potent magnets irresistibly drawn together. Yet this stage is also often marked by a whirlwind of confusion and denial, as the intensity of the connection can be overwhelming, as incomprehensible as it is undeniable. It's a stage filled with a powerful cocktail of emotions that can leave the twin flames reeling. Following this is the testing stage, here, the twin flames test each other's commitment to their shared destiny, their trust in each other, and the strength of their connection. This is often a period that is rife with turbulence, conflict, and disagreement. Yet it's a necessary phase, an instrumental part of their growth and evolution. It's through these trials that their bond deepens, that their connection strengthens, that they come closer to their shared destiny. Next is the runner and chaser stage. It's a stage where one twin flame, overwhelmed by the raw intensity of the connection, runs from it, the other chases. This stage can be painfully heart-wrenching, but it's a crucial part of their journey towards unity. 
It's a stage that forces them to confront their deepest fears, to face their most insecurities, to grapple with their inner demons. Then comes the final stage, the harmonious union. This is when the twin flames have resolved their internal conflicts and are ready to fully embrace their connection. They have emerged from their trials stronger, wiser, more in tune with each other. They stand on the precipice of their shared destiny, prepared and eager to fulfill it. Every journey is unique, and so is the journey of twin flames. The path may be difficult, but it's a transformative process that leads to an unbreakable bond. In the journey of twin flames, there's a unique phenomenon that takes place, often referred to as the twin flame mirror. This extraordinary concept illuminates the mystical realm of twin flames, suggesting an intriguing idea that twin flames are mirrors to each other. This reflection is not in the superficial sense we might initially think, but a profound mirroring that uncovers the deepest fears, desires, strengths and vulnerabilities within each individual. This unraveling of the inner self can be impactful and is the reason why the journey of twin flames can often be so challenging. The mirror doesn't flinch from showing the raw, unfiltered truth. It brings to light the shadows we often try to hide. It forces each individual stare directly into their deepest insecurities, the elements of themselves that they might prefer to ignore or push aside. However, in doing so, it also provides the opportunity for growth and transformation. This mirror effect is intense, deep, and can be quite confronting. It's like standing in front of a magical mirror that not only presents your physical appearance, but also unravels the layers of your emotional and spiritual self. And yet, despite the initial shock and discomfort that might arise, the purpose of this mirror is not to cause pain or distress. Rather, it serves to stimulate growth, self-awareness, and spiritual development. By being confronted with their true twin flames, learn to acknowledge their flaws and strengths. They begin to accept who they truly are, honoring all aspects of their being. This acknowledgement and acceptance is a step towards self-love, a profound love that understands and embraces all nuances of the self. This self-love is what then enables them to love their twin flame unconditionally, offering space for acceptance, compassion, and understanding. This process of self-discovery, self-acceptance, and self-love is not an easy one, but it is a journey that brings immense rewards. The twin flame mirror is a powerful in the twin flame journey towards unity. It's an essential component of their spiritual evolution, guiding them towards a harmonious union, a unity born out love, understanding, and acceptance. This journey, with its challenges and rewards, is a testament to the transformative power of love. So while the journey may be challenging, fraught with trials and tribulations, remember it's all part of the growth. The mirror is not there to break you, it's there to make you stronger, wiser, and more loving. It reveals, reflects, and in doing so encourages you to grow, evolve, and transform. The mirror is not there to shatter you, it's there to build you into a more enlightened, loving being. Having looked into the mirror of growth and self-discovery, we now tread into another crucial phase of the twin flame journey an intriguing phase filled with trials and transformations. This phase, a significant milestone on the path of spiritual awakening, is commonly referred to as the runner-chaser dynamic. It's a captivating stage in this remarkable journey, a stage where the two twin flames, bound by an ineffable connection, find themselves in a dance of pursuit and flight. One twin, overwhelmed by the intensity, the raw authenticity, and the inexplicable depth of the connection, instinctively pulls away from the relationship. This twin, aptly termed as the runner, is often at a loss, struggling to comprehend the profound feelings stirring within them. They may outrightly deny the connection, suppress their surging emotions, or deliberately ignore their intuitive inclinations. In a desperate attempt to escape the existential crisis that this connection poses, they may even plunge into other relationships, seeking solace and distraction from the intimidating presence of their twin flame connection. Contrastingly, the chaser, the other half of the pair, is the twin who, awakened to the connection's true essence, finds themselves relentlessly pursuing the runner. They are driven by a desperate longing to make their twin understand the staggering depth and significance of their bond. Their actions are fueled by an intense desire to reignite the connection, to rekindle the fire that once burned brightly between them. 
This phase, ridden with emotional turmoil and cognitive dissonance, can be incredibly painful and bewildering. It may seem like an insurmountable hurdle, a relentless storm tearing at your very soul, but it's an integral, indispensable part of the twin flame journey. It's during this crucible that the twin flames work through their deeply ingrained fears and daunting insecurities that surfaced in the mirror phase. The runner is compelled to confront their fears of vulnerability, their apprehensions about unconditional love, their reservations about the authenticity of this connection. The chaser, on the other hand, must learn to respect the runner's journey. They must understand that they cannot force the runner to accept the connection, to acknowledge the depth of their bond. They must learn patience, understanding, and acceptance. Though tumultuous, this stage is not a punishment, but a part of the journey to unity, a stepping stone on the path to oneness. It's a stage of profound growth, a period of intense self-discovery. Both twins learn to balance their energies. They strive to overcome their fears, their insecurities, it's a journey from running and chasing to understanding and acceptance, a transformation from conflict to reconciliation. Remember, the ultimate goal is not just to unite with your twin flame, but to grow as individuals and as a pair, to transform and to evolve. So as trying as this phase may be, embrace it. It's an opportunity to grow, to learn, to prepare for the harmonious union that awaits. From the tumultuous runner-chaser dynamic, we now transition into a calmer, more serene point in the twin flame journey. This is the phase we have all been eagerly waiting for. This is the scene five, poetically titled, The Harmonious Union, The Destination of the Journey. The title alone envelops the essence of this stage, the destiny of the journey, the harmonious unity of two souls. This stage represents the apex, the peak of the spiritual mountain that the twin flames have been climbing together. It's an accumulation of all the growth, the lessons learned, the losses endured, and the challenges that the twin flames have conquered. This stage embodies a powerful message of acceptance and balance, where both twins have strived. They have battled their inner demons, faced their fears, insecurities, and challenges and emerged victorious. They've ceased the draining cycle of running and chasing. They've put an end to the spiral of fear and anxiety. As an alternative, they've found solace and comprehension within themselves and each other. They've discovered a sanctuary within their own souls and in the soul of their twin. In this stage, the twins are no longer two separate entities in a constant state of flux, running from or chasing each other. They've evolved beyond that. They've transformed into a harmonious union, a balanced blend of their energies and united in their purpose. They've achieved a unity that's not just physical, but spiritual and emotional as well. They have understood that their journey was not just about finding each other in the vast cosmic landscape, but also about finding themselves, discovering their own identities. And in doing so, they found a love that's profound, a love that's deep and unconditional, a love that transcends the boundaries of the conventional. This love is mirrored not just in their relationship, but in their individual evolution, in their spiritual growth. The harmonious union is not the end of the journey. It's not the final destination. The harmonious union is not a stop, but rather a new beginning, a commencement of a journey that's deeply rooted in love, understanding and balance, a journey that's filled with compassion and empathy. So if you're in the runner-chaser dynamic, don't lose hope. Don't surrender to despair. Remember, it's not a punishment. It's not a penalty imposed by the universe. This dynamic is a part of the journey, a necessary phase that leads to growth, harmony, and unity. It's a stepping stone towards the ultimate union, towards the harmonious unity. So don't lose faith. Keep moving forward. Keep going. Your harmonious union is waiting. Welcome to scene six, titled the journey beyond expanding love and unity. Many individuals may believe that reaching a harmonious union signifies the end of a journey, a conclusion of a long winding path. Yet it's essential to understand that the spiritual odyssey known as the twin flame journey doesn't conclude at the harmonious union. Rather, it merely transitions, it evolves into a deeper, more profound phase. It commences a period that's fundamentally about growth, and extending the love and unity that the twin flames have discovered within themselves and each other. Let's delve deeper into this stage.
we see the twin flames now united in a beautiful balance begin to extend their love and understanding beyond just their unique bond. They channel their shared energy and lessons into the world around them, impacting people and situations positively. The love they have found, the harmony they feel, isn't confined to their relationship. No, it permeates through their every action, their every thought. They use the wisdom and growth they've achieved throughout their journey to influence their surroundings positively. In this harmonious union, the twin flames transform into more than just companions. They become a beacon of love, light, and unity. They begin to inspire others with their journey, their transformation from two distinct entities to one united force. It's a powerful process, one that motivates many. The twin flames in this harmonious phase come to a profound realization. They understand that their journey was not just about them, their path was about much more than finding each other. It was about learning, growing and evolving so they could help others do the same. Their journey was about becoming a source of inspiration, a catalyst for change in a world that often seems resistant to it. As they journey beyond the confines of their relationship, they don't just exist, they thrive. They live their purpose fearlessly. They spread love, understanding and unity, making the world around them a little brighter, a little better. They become agents of change, a force that transforms their surroundings positively. Remember, the twin flame journey is not just about finding your other half. It's a journey of self-discovery, of finding love within and then expanding that love beyond measurable boundaries. It's about making a difference, about being a beacon of love and unity. So keep going, keep growing and keep loving. Your journey is far from over. Welcome to scene seven, the ripple effect, spreading love and unity. Today we're delving into the aftermath of achieving a harmonious union between twin flames. Not just any reunion, but one that has grown and blossomed amongst the storms, radiating a profound, unwavering love and unity. This union does not remain confined between the two entities, but bursts forth, aspiring to inspire and influence others with their tale of love and unity. It's an adventure, a narration that resonates with the heartbeats of countless individuals, influencing them in subtle yet profound ways. Imagine a serene pond, still and peaceful. Now visualize dropping a single pebble into this pond. What happens next? The tranquil stillness is shattered, giving way to ripples that spread in concentric circles, touching and altering everything in their path. In the grand scheme of the twin flame journey, the united pair, their hearts aflame with love, become the metaphorical pebble and their journey of love and unity, the ripples. Their voices reach out to others, echoing in the silence, sharing their stories, the stories of their struggles, their triumphs, their lessons and their growth. The experiences they have, the wisdom they have culled, all fuse together, spreading like wildfire, igniting the spark of self-discovery in others. The resounding message of their journey inspires others to embark on their own voyages of self-discovery, self-love and unity. The twin flames thus become catalysts for change, their love and unity transforming into a beacon of hope, resilience and understanding. They spread this light wherever they tread, illuminating the path for others, fostering a climate of love, unity and mutual understanding. This is the essence of the ripple effect, the aftermath of the twin flame journey. It's a phase just as significant as the journey itself. It's not merely about finding your other half, reaching a destination. It's about the journey, the transformation. It's about finding yourself, discovering love, nurturing it, and then spreading that love to the world around you. It's about making a difference, making an impact. So, as you continue on your twin flame journey to embrace the ripple effect, share your journey, your experiences, your insights with the world, Spread your love like the sun spreads its warmth and inspire others. Because your journey is not just about you. It's about all the lives you touch along the way. It's about the stories you craft, the hearts you touch, and the souls you inspire. Your journey is a beacon, a guiding light for others. Never forget the magnitude of your influence. Your journey is about you and all those whose lives you touch along the way. Welcome to scene eight, the echoes of twin flame love. 
At this juncture, we're embarking on an exciting segment that explores the idea of love's reverberations. As we delve deeper into the concept of echoes, the twin flame journey takes a mystical turn. The scene builds upon the ripple effect we discussed previously, offering a more comprehensive understanding of how twin flame love resonates over time. The love shared between twin flames doesn't merely disappear into oblivion. It echoes, creating an undulating rhythm that resonates throughout their lives and the lives of those they touch. It's a love that leaves an enduring impression, like the lasting resonance of a gong struck in an empty hall, its sound reverberating through the silence. Consider the echo of twin flame love, a love so profound and powerful that it continues to vibrate long after it's been shared. This love, like an endless echo, persists and inspires others. It empowers people, creating a ripple effect of positivity and transformation. It's a love capable of shaping destinies and changing lives as twin flames spread their love and they witness the beautiful reverberations of their love. The echoes of this love manifest in people's smiles that they've brought about in the positive changes they've fostered, in the newfound love that others have discovered within themselves. There's evidence of this love in the unity they've cultivated, in the bonds they've fortified, in the communities they've established and nurtured over time. These echoes of twin flame love stand as a testament to love's transformative power, symbolizing the potential of unity to weave together the threads of disparate lives. They serve as a reminder that the twin flame journey is not confined to the realm of union alone, but extends to the reverberations of love and the impact we make on the world around us. As we navigate the winding path of our own twin flame journey, it becomes essential to tune into these echoes of love. We need to cherish them, nurture them, allowing them to inspire us to continue spreading our love and unity. The journey of twin flames reaches beyond search for a soulmate. It involves leaving behind echoes of love that resonate in the hearts of others, creating a lasting impact that transcends our individual lives. It encompasses the meaningful connections we forge and the lives we touch along the way. So as you traverse your own twin flame journey, remember to listen for the echoes of love. Cherish them, nurture them, and let them inspire you to continue spreading your love and unity. Because your journey is not just about finding your twin flame, it's about the echoes of love you leave behind, the lasting impact you make, and the lives you touch along the way.